and they're so colorful too. Like they're just gorgeous. It's insane. You see how leaf, how much leaf litter, and how dirty this tub is. It's just legit natural conditions. You know, you want to ask me you know, what kind of filter was on this? None. How many times did I do water changes? Never. Definitely had some breeding in here. Looking absolutely gorgeous. A little less beard and a lot more fish. We're back. <music> The last time you saw me, the beard was longer, and these tubs, well, these tubs over there, we had all the blue tubs lined up. We broke those down and set up some more of these Rubbermaid tubs. 2020 was our third summer tubbing season, and it was the definition of boom and bust. We created the most beautiful red, red, red cherry shrimp, and so many of them but we also busted and our grow out tub of plecos and guppies crashed on us big time. Let me show you why we broke down these blue tubs and set up these new ones and more importantly, what we found when we did that. It is summer tub time, actually summer tub breakdown time, uh, but we're expanding as we're breaking down. We're gonna be saying goodbye uh, for the summer and for good to these four blue plastic tubs. They did us great for a couple of summers uh, But they start to get a little brittle as you can see this one's already starting to crack. Oh, man, it's so brittle it crack easily So we're gonna slowly but surely upgrade To more of the stock tub as you can see we're filling up this hundred gallon tote Slash stock tub and we got a 50 gallon one also little low boy we're gonna not be able to keep this here for a number of reasons number one my dog Bo will use it as his personal personal um, drinking fountain slash bathtub for sure so I think what we're gonna do is pump it up another level of cinder block gonna get some dirt even that out again and then we put that shorter trough one kind of on top there and that way it sits too high for Bo got some shrimp in this tub left for whatever reason we put a few madoc in there they bred but then they just kind of dwindled and lost them all um so orange shrimp went boom but orange madaka went bust in this tub we got some red cherry shrimp for sure they were, they were crawling just the other day i took some footage of them crawling up in the sylvania minima over here are the gold white cloud mountain minnows i don't think they bred not sure if it's because i have all males like someone suggested or just what but I got a local friend of mine, Chris, he's interested in them. So I'm going to take them out of here and he's going to get them. And then over here, we had some success, but I'm not sure how much of a success. And we'll see here shortly with these uh, Mayuki Platinum Madaka. Um, definitely had some breeding in here. It wasn't like, it was definitely not like hundreds, you know, but I saw some babies. I think I put like six originally, maybe. Um, so they'll breed out here, but it's not like, you know, an efficient way to farm them. Needed to take a break real quick and show you guys these gold white cloud mountain minnows looking absolutely gorgeous out here. The uh, camera's not even doing them justice, but natural sunlight does wonders for fish. And of course, all the natural um, stuff falling in here. I'm almost done draining the tub they were in. And you can see there's tons of uh, leaf litter and uh, you know, just microorganisms and stuff growing in these tubs over here. This tub's all stirred up too because I started taking out of that tub. We got some guppies and unfortunately so far, no males. Um, definitely had some fry, I knew they were breeding in here. Uh, got a few cherry shrimp as well. Cherry shrimp are looking pretty, pretty red. There's a guy hiding under there. A few little babies, but I suspect um, there's a few more. There's a little shrimp right there just taking a ride across the top. Um, there's a lot more in here. I haven't even began to kind of scratch. There's a bunch of fry darting around in here. I just took like one or two swoops in here, but uh, I'm gonna work through these tubs. Okay, I can't repeat what I just said when I saw this because I have to censor it. But dude, look at what was at the bottom of this tub. There's a freaking crap load of these gorgeous, gorgeous shrimp. Um, they're everywhere. They're freaking everywhere. They're on every single crack and crevice. I've never had such a successful turnout with shrimp before in a tub, let alone this high quality. I'm like beside myself. I don't even want to break this tub down anymore. It's like freaking, this is the craziest, coolest thing. I was not expecting to find this. I've had very limited success with shrimp. Like this tub, I was happy that this tub had some orange shrimp going. And now I'm excited that when I drain this one lower and 
get them more concentrated that even more will pop out of here too but holy crap how awesome is that and they're all like fire engine red like insane that's so cool so freaking cool the glare is terrible i know but look how many there are <laughs> i don't think there's a single male guppy in here either freaking a uh, win some you lose some i'll take the win this time we're left with some swamp land here actually hoping to get another load of dirt so it's a little more uh sturdy long term we don't end up with more swamp land but still kind of beside myself at these red shrimp i know it's still not doing them justice i mean you can see how freaking red they are in the light and how many there are they're everywhere they're big they're small you know it's just insane um i'm probably gonna keep some out year round because they could survive with ice on the top and we don't even come close to those temps the orange shrimp not nearly as many but there's plenty in there they're definitely breeding um harder to see and, dot, and definitely not nearly as many but they're there and they've been successful this was the tub with the platinum rice fish and i had put some blue shrimp in here as well and i know they didn't all die because when i was getting the rice fish out you can see there's some of the rice fish see that blue shrimp as well um but the red shrimp boomed you know uh no male guppies unfortunately i think this is the strain that i got from uh the florida fancy guppy association auction i forget that gentleman's name but he i got some orange shrimp and some red shrimp from him he was a really cool dude knowledgeable he looked like andrew luck actually uh big shout out to him he's gonna put these mayuki rice fish in this tub and actually add a few more um yeah i don't know i know for a fact we had some babies i think i started with six and now we have four so we lost some of the adults had some babies not sure if the babies didn't make it i don't really know i think maybe these bigger bigger tub will do better like i said this tub was booming booming guppies pleco was just it was going awesome but the air got cut off and uh yeah unfortunately the uh whole tub was a loss and that happens it sucks but now I just need to know, or I need to stay on top of the air more and, you know, be cautious of the stocking. You know, definitely got to be mindful if it's light stocking, you have a lot more room for error. I also wanted to point these out. These are the, um, the old overflows I had in the tubs over here. And I'm going to throw those tubs out, but I'm going to keep the overflow. It's very similar to what I use for the tanks in the fish cave in terms of the elbow here. You know, normally in the fish cave, this would just be through the, um, the bulkhead. Um, out here, I use these uniseals, which are awesome. If you're pushing it into, I think they can go through glass too. Um, but they're really nice for applications in like tubs and plastic containers, stuff like that. Um, I've had these for a while. Hopefully going to put these to use sometime. I know there's a lot of people out there that will uh, utilize these as well to grow out fish. And I think we're going to head in that direction also. So here's how we're going to try to get some of these shrimp out of these containers because... I don't want to, I think I want to put some of these in the other tub. I don't want to dump them out. And I actually want to kind of calculate how many we have. And I think the only way to do it is a little handmade shrimp trap. So essentially we got these little deli containers that I use all the time to uh, move fish, fast fish before shipping. And I'm going to sit them down here. I thought I was going to sit them down. I guess I'll put a, I'll put a rock in there. Just want to make sure that the top of it is underneath the water and actually man there's so many damn shrimp in here yeah the top of the rim is just above the water so they can hopefully creep down in it and then they won't pop up or at least not quickly and i put a few a few wafers down at the bottom so i'm gonna do two for each tub and then check them pretty frequently we got snails in here too but we should be able to catch most if not all the shrimp over the course of uh, probably at least a couple tries really excited to see if we got any blue shrimp in here because like I said we caught that one but haven't really seen any others so I suspect there's at least a couple more but probably not booming like the red shrimp maybe closer to the orange or even worse but time will tell
So I actually released the four Mayuki Madaka that we had um, from that small tub, transferred them over after letting them acclimate for a little bit. And then I went ahead and I grabbed 10 more. And these guys were all born here in the fish cave. They're now sexually mature. So some of these have uh, eggs right now they're carrying and hopefully get these guys breeding as well. So we have a total of 14 that will start this colony. In terms of bio load for this tub, I want to, we got to start small, I don't want to start too quickly, but we need to, uh, or at least I want to, kind of get a pretty decent bio load in here eventually, uh, just to kind of get everything booming, plants, fish, etc. cetera. Uh, but got to keep an eye on the air as well. I'm going to redo this air. There's one pump in there, and I'm going to redo some of these lines cut them down make them smaller shorter because we don't have as many wrapping around anymore so i want to tidy that up it's really been like three minutes and you can already see that <laughs> the the tubs each tub is filling up with red shrimp so that's going to work for sure in that tub um, over here not as much activity but it just shows you the sheer volume of damn shrimp in this tub they're everywhere they're freaking everywhere i wish like man they're so colorful too like they're just gorgeous it's insane. You see how leaf, how much leaf litter and how dirty this tub is. It's just legit natural conditions. You know, you want to ask me you know, what kind of filter was on this? None. How many times did I do water changes? Never. Literally, this is just, you know, rainwater overflowing set up for, you know, the whole summer and ba-boom. Ba-ba-ba-boom. First cup. I mean, I'm not even going to count. There's a lot. Over a dozen in the first cup. <laughs> Insane. And I'll put it back. And I'll take the next cup. That's crazy. And right back in. I mean, you still can see freaking shrimp everywhere. It's insane. Didn't even put a dent in there. Didn't even put a dent. <laughs> that's so awesome. Man, oh man, it's so many, so beautiful shrimp. I mean, the legs are red. I mean, these are freaking painted fire red shrimp. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like that maybe is a call. Like these things are breeding super true. Maybe one call in here, two calls. Insane. I ended up taking out all of the, uh, the rocks from the bottom of this tub. No help from Bo, he's just investigating after the fact. But we've been taking a lot of these shrimp out. I uh, did the, the trap a bunch of times and I'll show you how many we got. Uh, I did the trap a bunch of times and just started netting them out, but we've had a ton so far. And there's some hiding the leaves in there. And we're not done because there was ton hiding in these rocks. About half these rocks came from this tub. Um, one of the tubs actually, tub with the orange shrimp, uh, cracked. <laughs> the, it just fell apart as I was moving it, so I had to kind of do an emergency. I think I lost some, a couple shrimp over here into the grass. I picked a bunch up, and then I was able to transfer the rest of the bucket. So, gonna pour. I think I'm gonna pour this, which is the remaining of the red shrimp. You can see there's a bunch in there still. I'm gonna pour that. Into, I'm gonna bring a 10 gallon out here. I think pour that into that, and then uh, go from there, and then break this tub, which is hopefully got some blue shrimp, but not really seeing much activity. So we'll see. We made a lot of red shrimp, a couple blue and orange, but not too many. Um, the Madaka, orange, didn't do so hot. Mayuki though, they're already doing strong in that tub right there. We got the red shrimp going there as well. So looking forward to what 2021 brings us. I appreciate you guys watching. Check out more wild fish tank antics right there. Some other cool fish collecting videos right there. As always, stay positive and stay passionate.